Hey, what's up? Arvin here. Today, we're going to be talking about how to avoid procrastination. As I sit here at 11.30 p.m. at night, the day before I'm supposed to post tomorrow. It's like the worst. Hey, what's up? Arvin here. Welcome to Driven to Draw. Thanks for joining us this week. And today's topic is going to be about procrastination and how to avoid it when you want to start to, to draw and develop a habit. So this was a really good topic to talk about because today was one of those nights that I'm serious, man. It's it's 1130 at night. It's like way, way too late to, to start on this stuff. And it's, it's one of those things that I had plenty of time to, to start and at a decent hour after having my dinner and taking care of the kids and stuff. And I'm sitting here wondering why at 1130 I decided to sit down and start to, to do something. I mean, how did this happen? 1130. I'm so tired. I, can, I, can, I can't even, I feel like I can't even talk. <laughs> <clears throat> water. Ah, much better. This is really a good topic because it's not something that I haven't... Um, <clears throat> so that's one of the things I want to talk about is uh, what are the steps and what are the things that you need to do to help you avoid procrastinating and doing what it is that I'm doing right now. Because I'm supposed to be getting all this stuff done Video editing takes quite a bit of time, even for shorter videos. I mean, you can count on spending a good three hours from uh, the time that you film something. One of the things that I wanted to talk about that's going to help people, or at least yourself, to cultivate a good habit when you want to get into the habit of drawing or painting or getting into a hobby, any hobby that you really enjoy, is to remove distractions so uh, what was happening today when I when I got back home and I after I finished up my dinner with the family and everything was uh, the first thing I started to do was look at my phone and look at all my messages and then I, I started looking at articles and things and um, one of the other crazy things that has started to happen was to look at TikTok videos and once you start scrolling through TikTok videos you find that you're just never gonna stop you just keep going on and on and on and on because there's always gonna be something that makes you laugh and then you start looking at the next video and then you find something else that's really interesting and you look at the next video and the next video and you just keep going and going and going and scroll and scroll and scroll it's ridiculous it's endless Dr. Pimple Popper. Oh my gosh, that's so gross. <laughs> One of the things that you have to really do when you start to uh, make up your mind of wanting to uh, engage into something that's creative and more um, <laughs> beneficial for you as a person, as an individual who wants to grow and do something or learn something that's, that is new, is to remove the distractions. So social media, the news, and all the things that's happening around you ends up being a major distraction. And what it is, or what it does to your brain, is that it's, it's really, a, it's a stimuli, right? It's a stimuli. And once your brain is activated with that stimuli, it's like a drug, and you start to want to, to see it more and more. It's like the the endorphins in your brain get triggered and the the more you feel good about watching something the more you want it and you just keep going on and on right and so one of the things you have to really do is smash that phone into pieces I'm just kidding don't do that one of the things that's really going to be important for you is having that control and that control starts with putting down the phone and just shutting it off shutting your computer off in addition to shutting all the 
stimuli that could affect you and prevent you from doing things, which is what causes your procrastination because it really takes quite a bit of time. After watching Dr. Pimple Popper, you have to relax your mind to a point that you're ready to get started in work. All right, so we covered distractions. Distractions are bad. So now how do we combat the distractions? One of the other things that you need to do is to create a schedule. When you create that schedule, you force yourself to a lot, a particular amount of time during the day for you to complete certain tasks. So one of the things that I do often at work is to ensure that my day is broken down into clumps of either an hour or a half hour of time to do a particular task that I need to get done because I have a ton of things that I need to get done throughout the day and a lot of the times I'm in meetings after the meetings I want to make sure that there's certain tasks that I can get done during the day so that I'm prepared for the next day it works the same way for even your hobbies that sometimes it unfortunately becomes a little bit of work that way right but that's the only way for you to be organized some of the things that you do at work for you to be organized you have to do also for your free time as well so that you know that you're getting the maximum use out of your time what i do is that i create my calendar in my outlook or maybe my google calendar or whatever it is that you want to use and i allot a certain amount of time and then i put an alarm or something like that that gives me that pops up on my phone that says hey stop looking at that and do something productive or it's seven o'clock and you need to practice sketching for a good hour you need to practice sketching maybe proportions you need to do some observational studies you know things like that doing a little bit of car sketching and that's probably half the battle is that once you sit down and you start to, to engage in the activity that you're trying to engage in, it only takes like a few minutes of focus and concentration before you start to really get into the rhythm of doing that task, right? I mean, if you think about anything that you do, whether it is something like meditation or even working out, that once you get into it, once you go through that first five minutes or 10 minutes, then you can sustain for a much longer period of time and you feel good about it feel good about it just like i feel good about drawing this vintage race car right so yeah i hope you're learned something about procrastination and i don't know if you've ever had salt water taffy but i love salt water taffy good stuff I gotta wait to chew before I can talk. Problem with salt water taffy. It keeps you chewing. Like forever. Alright, so just to wrap up, we talked about a lot of things and by a lot of concepts and a lot of things I mean just two things. And that was um to avoid the procrastination, you got to look at removing the distractions. We talked about the effect of social media that has on you and your mind that kind of prevents you from, from doing uh, or engaging in other activities that can help improve your personal growth. You know, it's kind of funny. Maybe, maybe that's on purpose. It's like, it must be a conspiracy out there that... Uh, that's what it's there to do. It's designed to keep you engaged so you just, nobody ever does anything. Anyway, the other thing we talked about was, of course, getting a schedule, making sure you stick to a schedule and then getting it on your Google Calendar or whatever it is that you use uh, to uh, schedule your meetings or anything. Maybe it's Teams or whatever it is. And then a lot of that is just going to be willpower. You got to be ready with the mindset to really want to change things ultimately it's really going to be up to you whether you have the mindset to make the changes that you want to make to your life and everyone procrastinates 
even the best of us. But remember, once you start watching TV and start watching and binge watching Netflix shows, well, you know it, uh, uh, eight hours have passed. Not that I've done it. I've, I've never done that. Um, five hours, but not like eight. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm done. It's late. I'm ready for bed. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something, you got something out of it. Next week we'll resume with some more tutorials and some more drawing techniques. So we'll see you next week on Driven to Draw. Good night, folks. How about that? The irony. I procrastinated going to bed. <laughs>